Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's Exynos lineup. A more powerful version of the Exynos 2500 has just leaked, and trust me, you won't want to miss this. So let's dive right in. The Exynos 2500 has definitely been a hot topic for tech enthusiasts and Samsung fans alike over the past few months. After Samsung officially announced it during their earnings call, a store of reports came in claiming that there were some issues regarding production yields. The buzz? That Samsung might not even use the chip in its upcoming Galaxy S25 series. But wait, it seems the future of the Exynos 2500 has just gotten a lot more interesting. A new version of the Exynos 2500 has appeared on Geekbench's database under the model number S5 He 9955. Now, while this model number may sound similar to the original, the specs tell a different story. This new variation boasts two additional Prime CPU cores, pushing its capabilities even further. So what exactly are we looking at here? This upgraded version has three Cortex-X925 CPU cores throttled at 2.59 GHz, five Cortex-A725 cores clocked at 2.25 GHz, and two Cortex-A520 cores running at a steady 1.75 GHz. And not to be outdone, its AMD Radeon-based Sclips 950 TPU has also received an upgrade featuring two more GPU cores now clocked at 1.3 GHz. With these improvements, the new Exynos 2500 is likely to pack a significantly more powerful punch than its original counterpart. More prime CPU cores mean better multitasking, enhanced performance, and overall smoother user experience. But it's important to note that as performance improves, power consumption may also rise, making this version of the Exynos 2500 potentially more suitable for tablets and laptops as opposed to smartphones. The real question is, which version will Samsung ultimately choose to launch, and where will we see this advanced chip in action? Now let's talk about the Galaxy S25 lineup. Rumors are swirling fast. Speculation has it that the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, and S25 Ultra might all come equipped with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite chip. Why? Well, it appears that Samsung may not be able to produce enough Exynos 2500 chips in time for the Galaxy S25 series launch. However, there's still a glimmer of hope for those rooting for Samsung's in-house chip. Some sources indicate that if the yield issues improve, the company might still incorporate the Exynos 2500 in both the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus, possibly alongside the Snapdragon variant. And what's this? Reports initially surfaced suggesting that MediaTek's recently announced Dimensity 9400 chip would find its way into the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus. However, the latest buzz requires a twist. It seems that MediaTek would be reserved for the Galaxy S25 FE, which we're expecting to land in late 2025. This just shows how dynamic and evolving the tech landscape can be. So what are your thoughts on this new leak regarding the Exynos 2500? Do you think Samsung should stick to their in-house chips for future devices, or is it time for them to focus solely on Snapdragon and MediaTek for their flagship models? Let us know in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tech news, and ring that bell so you won't miss any updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving, with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The action button. 
which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new camera control button. This physical key equipped with a capacitive surface allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch LED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's 18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera Capabilities Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3X telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5X zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post-processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over-sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low-light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery, and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, 
offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.